Thank you so much for watching Tomoshi the Music. Today I'm going to show you what I teach on um, private lesson and the reason is some people cannot afford my private lesson so I created um, Guitar Wisdom which is very reasonable price for you know subscription and um, I'm so grateful and thankful to you know um, ask people asking me private lessons and this lesson for Arif and who <clears throat> you know bought this he bought this guitar and he let me use this and today this morning I had lesson 9 <coughs> a.m. and you know we went through a lot of stuff he's been working on trias you know arpeggios really good but you see these are kind of fundamental it's a little boring sometimes because you have to go through <clears throat> Once you go through, you see other side, adding things. So today, I'm going to show you nine theory tips. Nine theory tips, okay? So, <clears throat> then each one, you use theory to identify what it is and study. So basically, <clears throat> you don't really need to do tabulature. But this lesson for... Arif, so review for Arif. That's why um, I can't really go too much details. So if you want more detail, you can look up each topic here at the guitar, um, Tomox the music or guitar wisdom. So the co um, I want to do like this. Number one, <coughs> learn major chord and minor chord really well, not just a shape. Okay, so six string root number one, two, fifth string root major chord <clears throat> then minor chord number three fifth string root major seventh minor seventh dominant seventh you really have to know these okay before you add attention number four adding you know six string root <clears throat> major seventh and dominant seventh minor seventh I mean, yeah <clears throat> and then once you learn these you have to have a little bit of like a muting technique okay so there's muting exercise number five Number six, play funk. You know, my song Crossing or Just Funky, some of the riff. And ninth chord, but again, rhythm. So number six, E7, uh, nine. And numbers, number six, um, wait a minute. Number, n number six, it's, you know, yeah, <coughs> E ninth. You know, analyze that, practice that. Number seven, rhythm, you know, strumming. Okay, number nine, adding that ninth and thirteenth. Here we go. The first one, okay, A major. So you have to know notes, name, okay, root, fifth, root, major third, fifth, and root. So you really have to understand what makes, you know, major, major chord. So if you don't understand this, <clears throat> go to theory section the guitar wisdom okay now minor so what happened major third of C sharp changed to C natural flat three so you have root fifth root flat three five root you got that good now fifth number two fifth string root this is hard to do if you play this <clears throat> this is D, root, fifth, root, major third, fifth, 
you know that uh, we talk about you know how if you have to bend this finger like this this finger won't bend like this but this one I bent so practice my my you know jazz guitar teacher told me take a hot bath and bend your finger <laughs> okay that's why I can play that. right minor <coughs> this one you can play <coughs> sorry still a little bit yesterday really good I didn't get allergy too much but this morning so here root fifth root minor third fifth okay number three let's make major seventh and D so now here root fifth major seven see change to major seven okay then fifth major third and fifth yes root fifth major seven major third fifth okay fifth ring root my uh, dominant seven plus seven you got that I go a little quick now minor seven major third to minor third you got that okay one more time major seven dominant seven minor seven let's move on fifth string root major seven a little difficult I, I put it on two types you know <clears throat> I like this one root and fifth string no pitch major third also major seven major third fifth so every time you have to really think about what degree you're hitting on that's really about the theory If you know the theory, you can really hear what what chord changes you hear, what type of chords are here, because this is all color. It's all about almost tasting. You taste something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's ginger in it. Oh yeah, garlic in it. Oh yeah, something. Ha, <laughs> like that. Okay, so it's like music is cooking really. So ta da da da. Like if you hear music like that. <clears throat> so this all variation. So first, we really have to know major seven. Now, minor seven, like that. So you have <clears throat> root fifth, flat seven, flat three, fifth. So you have to understand. <clears throat> Dominant seven, you know, root fifth, root fifth, yeah. And flat seven, third, fifth root. Now, I, I miss one thing. If you play, you know, fifth string root, major seven, Dominant seven minus seven. This is this is nice too. Kind of funky. Root third seven. So that's where we go next one. I'm using this back cat cub. <clears throat> Very simple setup. Reverb, master volume, volume, everything nine o'clock. Bass, middle, treble, presence. I love presence control. Everything eleven o'clock. Simple. Sounds really good. Okay, so next one, number five. Muting exercise. So this one you go <coughs> cycle C F B flat <coughs> E flat A flat D flat G flat F sharp B E A D G. So basically you go no sharp, no flat, one flat, two flat, three flats, four flats, five flats, <coughs> six flats, sh uh, six sharps, and five, 
right five uh, sharps four sharps three sharps two sharps one sharp so like a little like this obviously this one you shouldn't have a reverb one <coughs> so that Then don't open your finger because if you open finger you stop here if you close your finger you can go you got it so try to strum one side listen to this this is down up motion this is down down this up up <clears throat> very hard to do one by each now one by two, two beats each sorry for beginning right beginning we have to practice <coughs> One pattern. Yes. Good job. Like it a long time. But anyway, I used to do this a lot because for funk rhythm. You know? So th this is the exercise from accelerated your guitar playing. In sonar kaihatsu exercise this name, right? That's nothing to do with this lesson, so that you don't have to worry about. Okay, but <clears throat> eventually, you know, um, Arif want to play crossing or just funky, so that's why. <coughs> so this is like root, root, third, seven, and then first finger really hitting six and seven. So number <clears throat> number six, number six is ninth. So this is really hard to do. So now <clears throat> number uh, E ninth is you play root third seven flat seven nine fifth. And most common problem is people watch this fingering and then when they play ended up sounds like this. Because press it down a little too hard, so ended up <coughs> you your second finger become kind of flat. You see the difference? So you have to go like that, you know. Then don't don't go too much, you know, right? All right. 
So you got that. <clears throat> it's a simple rhythm, right? Wow, this guitar, I didn't really set up for funk, so it's a little bit hard to do, but... Last one, 16. So I will make sure now this cut off short, you know. So like it's typical funk rhythm. So this rhythm <clears throat> You see ta 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 So if you can tap this one, then you can play funk, because rhythm come from body, not from guitar, you know. So <clears throat> make sure. Okay. So the number eight rhythm. You see number A? See like understand the rhythm, this is part of a theory. Theory means not only harmony or scale, rhythm also makes sense. Downbeat, upbeat, we really have to understand. Number nine, last one, is combination. Typical funk rhythm. Wait a minute, I, I made a mistake about numbers. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so number six is the ninth chord, number seven is the accent. Okay, number eight is 13 and ninth. Sorry about that. Ideas ninth, so you have root third, seven, nine, thirteen, the fifth. Now, finally, you can do intro of just funky. Why I chose this one? Because I want to make really, really funky song, really good guitar funky song. Too happy, too sad, too ordinary, too ordinary, too ordinary, too ordinary. Like the late eighties, you know. Like a, you know the band Police. See that kind of sounds like you know late 80s like you know using you know a lot of a su that kind of sounds instead of a minor you know a little bit more like not really major not really minor because there's no 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 third so no third really makes really nice nice 
See, very smooth, almost like a nice, nice green tea, you know. Not, not aftertaste. See, th this is like a ha ha has a little aftertaste, like this one. Yeah, this is no aftertaste. <clears throat> oh yeah, smooth. Nice water. That's a gospel for coming from church, you know. So like just funky, literally, I mix everything I know. So obviously that song is very difficult. Plus, I went to Berkeley. I study a lot of technique. I study a lot of uh, styles. So everything in it. So if you copy that by tabulacha or video, you can't play that. I guarantee. I mean, if you can play that really well, no for not. I invite you here for dinner, you know, <laughs> really, post your video, if you play every note really good, I invite you here for dinner, that difficult, okay, <laughs> thank you so much for watching Tomohisa Music, if you like my video, please subscribe Tomohisa Music, and, okay, number one, number two, up to number nine, if you don't know anything, you, you have to stop, then go to Guitar Wisdom. That way, you save your money and you save your time. Because save your time, really save your money, you know? Time, time is money, right? <laughs> Alright, thanks so much. See you soon. Take care.